Good morning. Woo. Back up in the borough today and already things haven't gone according to plan. I decided to tackle Fountain Falls today and they're parked and as soon as I got to the start of the trail the track is closed. What's today's plan? Uh, I don't know, I decided just to walk along the road while I think of a plan B. So the only trail that I know along here is Bohagen Falls. I'm pretty sure I butchered the name again. Oh, we'll see how that looks. I might actually try to search for two other waterfalls, maybe one or two of them, and then uh, we'll see how steep the creek is down to the uh, Nixon Creek below. I guess that's today's plan. So I've looked at my phone and I decided I'm going to tackle Bill Birds Creek today. I know that there's two little drops or waterfall along that. Uh, you can actually see them from the lookout, but that trail up, up the top of Bindabara is also closed. So based on Google Maps, there is a little drop down to a pond. Don't know how accessible that is, but that's what today is all about. I'll probably go to the creek and go upstream to see if there's um, any waterfalls. There's supposed to be two. Um, the creek does split into uh, left and right, and both of them come off a cliff face. But there's not much rain of, of late, so I don't expect the water force to be great. But uh, yeah, after that I'll just continue keep going down until I hit the bottom of Nixon Creek, if I can make it. Otherwise, that's going to be pretty much today's hike, guys. There's no other plan. I've spent a lot of time up here in Bindaburra. I've covered most of the tracks, not all of them, but most of them. But the ones that I made preparations for, I've already done. So yeah, I'm just going to wing it today and see how it goes. All right, let's start today's hike. Always clean your foot. Oh look, they actually maintained this. Actually looks clean for once. All right, guys, hopefully we can get to, to see some waterfalls today. We're now entering the forest. And boy, it's going to be dark, so the footage might be a little bit shaky. But I love this view, man. This is awesome. There was a sign probably 10 meters back saying it's a rock pool area. As I'm walking, I'm looking up the cliff face and I can see, well, there's a rope there and it doesn't look like it's um, a rock climber's rope, but I'm curious why there's that rope there. There's some small caves, like, I wouldn't call them caves per se, up on the, up on the side of the cliff. Look, in indentations in the cliff face. Oh look, the rope extends all the way down here. This has turned out to be a disappointing day. So, I'm at the creek, or the turn off, that I was hoping to descend down or ascend up to check out some waterfalls. Do I have any hope? <laughs> Oh wow, so we're at the creek here and below me here would be this very sharp drop off. Oh well, in high flow this will look decent but there's no way I'm getting down that one. There's a cave system there on the side of the cliff so maybe if I ascend from the bottom up I can get to that cave. Doesn't look that big, doesn't look that marvellous. Other than that, this is our waterfall. Well, technically it's up there. I can see it. I don't know where the camera's going to pick it up. Right there where the finger is. That's the drop. And then there's supposed to be some kind of pool there. How are you going to get there? 
The only way is to ascend this gully and go left. Mm. Maybe it's worth the hassle once the water's flowing a little bit more. But I, I don't know whether it's worth it now. It's barely a trickle. So I'm leaving the rock fall area, heading back in the direction of the car. Decided that the terrain is too steep for me to bush bash down to a place I know I can get to without bush bashing. But the last time I exited this um, trail, I saw one leading to the right hand side. Since today's a bus, I might as well explore and see where that trail leads me. Hopefully, it cuts across, saving me around about 30 minutes of creek hopping. Or, leads me to a dead end. Then, in that case, I'm just going to walk back and you'll never see this recording. <laughs> Pretty, eh? They're everywhere. I'm, I'm going to assume they're bloody weed, but... Good looking weed. All right, back out into the Great Walk. Approaching the intersection that I was referring to, you keep left to stay on the Great um, Gold Coast Walk or Hinterland Walk or whatever that is. Here's the split. I'm hoping this is the trail that they were referring to in an article I read back in the 1980s. No, I didn't read in the 1980s, let me repeat that. There was an article in the 1980s that I read last year that they wanted funding to reinstate the trail that leads to Bihagen Force. So maybe this is it. It looks like it. It's actually coming down towards the direction. I really hope this doesn't hit a dead end. Or if it does, a little bit of bush bashing only. Oh, I don't know. I don't feel like kicking the bloody bush today but looking at the terrain outside it's quite flat so it looks promising to my surprise this trail kept going so this could be running or this is actually running parallel to the lower build uh, bellbird circuit up above so there's a good chance this will take me straight out to bellbird um, creek and that's exactly where I wanted to descend down earlier, except much easier here. The trail continues up this way, but the creek is literally on our left and there is, I'm assuming car tires that can only correct this. That's headed this way. Just following this faint footpad. Hopefully it's leading down to the creek below. It turns out this detour is a lot more difficult than I expected. So, I hear the creek pretty far away, but on the GPX, it didn't look that far. <laughs> so, I'm cutting across now and I still can't see the creek at all. But the general rule is I know that it's lower than me. So, if there's a trail that leads down, I'll take it. And then I'm going to keep heading straight ahead of me, which should be the direction of the creek. But the GPX keeps telling me I'm walking the wrong way, which makes no sense. But anyways. Whew, so far, it's pretty loose underfooting. The creek is that way. But I have to lose elevation, otherwise... If I hit the creek, it's going to be too steep. So, the good thing is, it's not, there's no gimpy gimpy. Just these brackens, latanas, or I don't know what they're called. Oh, God, the sweat is dripping in my eye. It's starting to rain. Perfect, because I'm in the most dense part of the track. It looks like an opening down there, but I'm going the wrong way. Oh God, this is a lot more difficult than expected. Oops, a lot of loose rocks and 
getting down there looks quite steep. All right, fun times ahead. This is rough. Well, I made it this far. There's no point turning back. Race on my GPX. It's been like 10 meters to the creek, 10 meters to the creek. And I swear I've been more than 10 meters, <laughs> nowhere near the creek. I'm hoping going through there is going to lead me down. But at this stage, it's super hard to tell. All right, guys. Don't recommend this trail to anyone. Just stick to the easy creek hop. Otherwise, you can easily injure yourself in here. This is not for the experience. It's only for the stupid. <laughs> Try it if you dare. Just want to show you guys. This part here, you see how I'm trying to get over here and you literally can't put your feet onto the forest floor so you've got to rely on these broken branches. When you do that, just be prepared to sink through like I did just then. If you don't anticipate that and then the shock gets to you and you, know, you can twist an ankle or roll an ankle, whatever, and it'll be a tough day for you. Ah, finally. See the creek and key in near the creek. Doesn't matter what direction I walk now, but man, that was. I did not anticipate that. Now, the creek looks easy enough, so maybe I should have just stayed on the main trail and see where that led me. Oh, fuck, you're dead. Woo! <laughs> Snake. <laughs> Python. But. That scared me. Okay. This maybe wasn't the best idea, but I'm here now. Nixon Creek. Totally miss Bellbird. I would definitely come up Bellbird and have a quick look to see if it's easy enough. Okay, so <clears throat> I popped out from there, up above there. That was rough. Didn't, oh my god. Doesn't help that it just rained and nothing on this creek is dry. Probably five to ten minutes, no more than ten minutes, we've reached the falls. Look at not how nice and lush our rainforest is. I'm not sure if the camera picked this up, but damn, it's a vibrant green today. Hi right, guys, this is pretty much it for me. I visited this guy a couple times already. Still a beautiful waterfall. All right, today or now, I'm actually going to head up the creek that I'm supposed to. I was trying to get onto. Um, by the looks of it, on the right-hand side, it's very steep. So I think this is going to be a mistake. But today's all about exploration, so I want to see where it takes me. All right, we're starting the creek hop up Bellbird Creek. Oh man. You can see on the right hand side, no wonder why I couldn't get down. I think my gut feeling is I'm going to go as, hot, as far as I can up this creek, hit a dead end and then have to turn back down. Damn, everything's so slippery. Oh, that's a surprise up this creek. I see at least a 10 meter cascade or waterfall that looks very similar to Bahagen Falls. There it is. But before I go there, 
Look, that explains why I couldn't get down to this goddamn creek. Super steep, but there's no guarantee if I, if I get up there I have to bush bash my way back out. Damn. And continue up and around. We're very loose and rough, but I'm on top now. And the goal now is to get back down to the bottom of this creek. There's that little waterfall that I was just at. I was excited about the first one, but it seems like there's another cascade here, a waterfall, roughly the same size. Oh man. So for those who follow my channel, you'll understand this joke, but waterfall 592. Hashtag Dale. <laughs> All right, it's a nice little drift. Again, the water that comes down this creek generally doesn't flow that well. This one's super hard to bypass. Oh shit, I'm stuck. I've got two options head straight up. Wow, look at it. See those rocks there? Probably all the way up to the top. I don't know. That looks stupid steep. All right, in a bit of a pickle. I understand why now I couldn't get down to this creek because right up there is where I originally was. No wonder why I had to descend so much. Oh shit. Okay, I'm just gonna head straight up. And if I can't make it, I have to think of plan B. So at this stage, I'm just gonna wing it, guys. I need to get out of here. I'm using fallen trees to aid me up. The soil here is very soft. All the handholds are loose. Mm. Spiders everywhere. Oops. Big nasty tree there. Oh shit. All right. Progress, five meters. Another hundred, hopefully, before I hit some kind of trail. That's manageable. It's a good workout. Whew. I need to get through this tree. I see a ridge line on my right. See that? That's where I want to get to. So the next goal is to get to that, that next tree and hopefully keep ascending. Oh God. No, I think I'm close though. I found this. I made my way to the right to this rocky gully. I have hope that this one will take me up to where I was before. Oh, I'm pooped, guys. All right, that was freaking steep as hell. Okay, stop the chit chat and get on climbing. My goodness, that has to be by far the steepest terrain I had to navigate. <sighs> Took a lot out of me. I take one step, I slide a meter. Ooh, and then I had to grip. There was one stage where I slid for five meters, couldn't stop myself. <sighs> wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, do I need to tell you guys that this is not an easy off-track exploration? Uh, please, I just hope there's no more climbing. I feel this was the ridge line I was on. Yes, open forest. Home stretch guys, home stretch. Okay, back on the trail 
it's all uphill now. Fun day exploring. Got a lot more than I bargained for. Found two more waterfalls along that creek. Though not beautiful or large. Hey. Find the find. And that's the joy of exploring. All right, guys. Whew. Hopefully this video doesn't end up being too long. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya. I tell you what, guys. I wish I had my noodles today, but unfortunately I didn't bring any. Pretty much intense push bash. Stopping at my favorite little cave. 